Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 14, the show with Theo Bonds. This is episode 68. Yeah, 68. This is 68th episode of this series, and it's been a pretty good run here so far as we are getting ready for a series here. Uh, it's actually a road trip here coming up uh, against Boston and Cleveland. Now, Theo and the Tigers are currently two games out of first place and have a road trip here coming up uh, three games in Boston and three games in Cleveland now there you see the Royals are currently uh, just one game above 500 as you see uh, or just one game below 500 as you see 69 and 70 uh, there you see uh, we are 67 and 72 two games out of first place we're on a three game losing streak here the Royals are currently on a two game losing streak uh, twins have leapfrogged us and there you see there's just a game behind the Royals there so uh, pretty tight race here between these three teams here. And we got some important wins to get here. So we have to do well here when we uh, head out to Fenway and try to uh, get some uh, good wins here so we can move on and leapfrog over these two teams and be in first place. So, uh, like I said, we got uh, three games in Cleveland, or excuse me, three games in Boston, and then we go to Cleveland and we have a three games there. To face the the uh, Indians, there you see they're 62 and 77, seven games out of first place. So uh, Theo uh, pretty put up some pretty good numbers here. Uh, there you see the uh, where the Red Sox are 63 and 75. But uh, yeah, overall he's putting up some pretty good numbers here, and hopefully that can continue here as we get ready to go to Fenway uh, here this season. Uh, so uh, we're gonna head out to the ballpark here in just a bit. Uh, but we'll see here the numbers uh, just a bit. But there, yeah, here's his career numbers. There you see, uh, 53 home runs so far this season, 128 RBIs, uh, and no stolen bases. But he does have one for his career there, just from last season. Uh, and there you see uh, 530 at bats there, uh, with 80 runs, 151 uh, hits there for him. So uh, we'll see here, Fenway Park, packed house here as always here. And we got these two historic teams here playing here at this historic ballpark. So there you see his numbers there. You see he's leading both in the um, home runs and RBIs in the American League. Just got to get that average up so and then we can get triple crown. So now top of the first here, and we'll see that sinker ball gets in on, on him, and he'll strike out there. He'll get no points for that, so that will be his first at bat of the day and it will be a strikeout so top of the third here runner at first and third or excuse me second and third and he'll strike out once again so bonds not doing too good here uh with his first two at bats here as he leaves runners there he scoring opportunity here to get some rbis here and he cannot do anything on that one so now bottom of the third here play some defense here uh full count here for Boston, and we'll see here a nice uh, play here, a routine play there for Bonds, and he's able to keep that runner there at second. As we'll see here, a uh, nice play there, and we'll see here another play here on defense, 2-2 two -two pitch here, still up by a run here, and this is going to be a pop-up, and Bolden, or excuse me, Bonds uh, almost misreads that one, but does get underneath that one to get the out, and there you see he'll get three points there. Uh, poor reaction right there. Uh, kind of read the ball. Uh, pretty funny there, but he does be able to find a track down the ball, and it realizes it's behind him. So now, uh, 0 2 0 2 for him for the day. Two strikeouts here. Top of the six here. One 0 pitch. Bolton, uh, uh, this is a Bond slaps that one to shallow center field there, and Bonds gets on board there for uh, a single there. So uh, nice play there for him. As he'll get 14 points for that solid contact there, and is again able to get on first. Now top, uh, or yeah, top of the eighth here, and we're up by two. And Bol or Bonds again has to run that one down and get to first, and he gets thrown out there on that play. So we'll see the replay here. And Bonds uh, cannot connect with that ball in the dirt there. Don't know why he was going after that one, but there you see they're gonna have to do some house cleaning there. To throw him out there at first. So one for four for the day. Four bonds here. We'll see what he can do here. Top of the ninth here. Runners at first and second. We're up by five here. And we'll see here. He'll slap this one to the shortstop. That will cause a double play right there. 
and that will be the inning there for Bonds as he'll have to uh, hustle back to the dugout there. And the uh, Boston Red Sox do a good job there keeping him on the base pass. There you see, final score, 6-1. to one, We win this one. Bonds 1-4 for four for the day, or 1-5 for five for the day. And there you'll see he'll get one run. So there you see the season awards here as we take a look here before we get to the next game here. And there you see uh, most valuable player, the Bonds there, up for that award. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people are saying that he could have a good chance here if he can just uh, get his act together and get on base more often. Got a good chance to get the triple crown. So we'll go here to game two here. You see 64 and 76 for Red Sox, 68 and 72 for the Tigers here. As you see, John Lester will be on the mound there for the Red Sox here. And Justin Verlander will be for us. So you see 12 and 8 for Verlander, 12 and 12, or excuse me, 12 and 10 for uh, Lester. So there you see the numbers there for Bonds. And again, uh, leading them both in the American League and both in RBIs and home runs. We'll see here runners at second and third here. They'll one run old drive get driven in, and that will be an RBI single there for Bonds as he'll get 17 points for that effort there. We'll check out the replay here, and Lester just throws that one right there in his wheelhouse there, and he's able to get a base hit off of that hit. And so now we'll go to the top of the third here. Uh, 2 nothing is the score here, and Lester hits this, gives this one up. And that that time was in his wheelhouse, as that one goes screaming out of here. That's a home run, and that is home run number 54 for the season there. As Bonds hits that one and jacks that one deep to right uh, left center field out there and then that ball was <laughs> nowhere and we will get that one set for if you're sitting up there in the uh, green monster seats so we'll see there Cabrera giving some love there to his uh, buddy there and telling that uh, this uh, second year player here hey kid <laughs> you're definitely uh, showing off here and it's a good kind of show off here as this one goes deep out there and into the uh, stand up there. So now 2 2 for Bonds here. A home run and a single for him. 2 1 pitch here coming up. One out. Runner at second here. Another chance to get an RBI here. And again, this one goes high. This one goes deep. And that one is gone. Almost in the same exact spot as he hit his first one there. Another two run shot for Bonds. And now that puts it now 5 0 here in this ball game here. As Bonds again gets another home run. That's his 55th home run of the year. And we'll see here. <laughs> the fans here in Boston are probably thinking, why didn't we sign him again? <laughs> uh, and I'm sure they would want to sign him here very, very soon. Uh, of course, remember, we were trying to get a trade here uh, early in this uh, season here, but. So far, things are looking pretty good here in Detroit for us as he uh, bonds his at home run. So now top of the seventh here, 6-4 is the score here. And we'll see him that split fast uh, split ball. Splitter gets on him, and he cannot do anything with that one. So now we're going to take a look back in the fifth inning where he hit the 55th home run of his career. And we'll see here, or I should say his 55th of the season. This one gets in there. And this one is definitely uh, a souvenir for fans out there. So top of the ninth here, up by two here. Bases are empty, and nobody's out here. And Bonds once again. Did he do it again? This time it's a solo shot. This one hits off the sign out there, the MLB 14, the show sign. And that is his 56th home run right there. Putting the lead now at eight. Uh, here, 8-4, to four, I believe, here. And that is a nice shot there from Bonds as he is just a man who's just uh, playing like uh, like it's his last days here on Earth. <laughs> Hits this one, and this one just gets up there and just, uh, yeah, just I, it barely screams. I mean, I mean, it screams out of here, but just screams and then it hits the wall and just, just shuts up. <laughs> So there you see final score there is eight to six final score. Uh, Tigers win this one, and we'll check out the numbers here 
Uh, Bonds, player of the game here, four for five for the day, three home runs. His 54th, 55th, and 56th home run, uh, home runs of the season. Five RBIs, three runs scored, one strikeout, and his average is now at 289, just near the 300 mark. But uh, there you see they win that one. And uh, move on now for the next game. So Clay Buckholtz and Max Scherzer will be on the mound for these uh, two teams here. There you see the team stats for both squads here. And we'll see here. We actually have a player spotlight here talking about Bond's great success here in that last game against the Red Sox. Back here on the MLB pregame show, Matt Baskersian getting you set for the finale of this three-game set. That'll come your way in mere moments, but first we'll take a look at the top's player spotlight. Theo Bond will be our subject, and he had the long ball working in his last game. Three home runs really carrying his team on his back. Yeah, we see it maybe a couple times a year, but when a guy hits three homers in a game, it's always worth talking about. He got some good pitches to hit. He just flat out did not miss them. I mean, I've seen guys put fewer out in a home run derby round, so he's clearly got plenty of power in that swing of his. Who knows, maybe he'll put on another show in this one. I wouldn't put it past him. Okay. Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. Okay, so that great performance he had there, that last game there, uh, got him the honors of a player spotlight. Now we'll go ahead and get to the final game of this series here, and we'll see here in game three what they can do. Hopefully uh, the Tigers can uh, win this game and win this series here. Uh, actually, be able to sweep the series here if they can win this final game here in Boston so it's a uh, gray day it's a little part uh, raining a little bit here so top of the first here we got a runner at first and bolt bonds excuse me <laughs> too many bees uh, bonds will able uh, won't be able to do anything as he grounds out there on that play so no score there at as we go to the bottom of the first so now bottom of the third here 2-2 two -two, and we'll see here he will get underneath this fly ball here. This will be a, actually should say a pop up here. That will be a pop up here, and that will uh, end the day there for the batter for the Red Sox there as he uh, ropes that one in. So now top of the fourth here, nobody on board and one out, and we'll see here a ground out again. And what is Bonds doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! Now I won't say it was his fault. It was actually my fault. It was a user fault. I uh, hit the up button, um, kept uh, the up button up too long and ended up overrun that bag. Uh, but he sh should have been safe there, but I uh, decided to go to second there. So my part on the user there, uh, getting him out there. So two ground outs, they say that's a grind, they don't um, give him a run or a hit there. So now uh, two ground outs, 0 2 pitch here, or a uh, 0 2 count. Uh, OT day for him, but this one's going high. This one goes deep, and that one goes out over the wall there in the left center field. That will be another home run. That's his 57th home run of the season, and he'll drive himself in a, in an RBI situation there, and that will now put them on the board there as he'll get 28 points for his effort there. As we'll see the replay here, and we'll see Buckholz just leaves that one over the plate right there. And, yeah, you just don't do that to a home run hitter like Bonds. And Bonds hits this one. And that one, yeah, goes uh, over the wall, uh, monster and hits off that sign out there. So now go ahead and see his next at-bat here. And that one he cannot outrun there. As that's a nice double play there. And that will definitely uh, seal the deal there. As you see, he'll get 11 points there. But we'll see here the Red Sox come back and win this one. They avoid the sweep. They win this one. 3-2 to two, final score there. As you see, Bowden won for four for the day for him uh, with a home run and an RBI. So now we just got done with that series there against Boston. And there you see we're now three and a half games out of first place. Royals are on a four-game winning streak here. There you see uh, now they're three games above 500. There you see 73 and 70 for them. Uh, of course, uh, we are now, we've uh, won those two wins there. We've actually um, got the Twins to back off, and now they're in third place there 
at four and a half there. So these three teams definitely trying to gun for that, uh, keep that top spot there in the central. Uh, but of course, we want that spot uh, more than ever. So you see Progressive Field here in Cleveland, here in in uh, Rock City. Uh, we'll see here what we can do here against the Indians, a very young and upcoming team here. There you see the numbers there again. Two out of the three for the Triple Crown. So top of the first here, runner at first. And we have one out. And we'll see a 0-1 pitch here. And this will be a chopper right there to the third baseman. And that will be into, nope, just one uh, bag there. They get the run, lead runner there at second. And Bonds is able to make it there at first. So nice hustle there from Bonds. As Chisholm Hall is just, just a little disgusted with that call there. So now two nothing here, Cleveland or Cleveland now yeah trailing now, and we'll see here that uh, the nice play right there from Bonds as he makes a nice uh, scoop play and throwing the runner there out at first. So now Bonds up to bat here, top of the third here, and bases are empty, two outs, oh one pitch here, and Bonds will have to run, try to run this one, and yeah he's unable to that time. He'll get out there, and that will get him two points. In that effort at that bat. So now they lead it now 2 nothing Detroit. Now 0-2 here for Bonds here. Uh, ground out there uh, here in the ball game here. So now top of the six here. We are up by two here. And uh, one out. And then you see Bonds will get the second out of the inning. As he just whatever weird swing that was. Gets struck. Uh, strikes out there. And he will be going back to the dugout. Probably talking to himself like why was I swinging at that. And what kind of swing was that? <laughs> so now bottom of the six here, two nothing here, full count for uh, Cleveland here, and a nice uh, play right there as they—that's uh, a hot shot play right there. And Bolt, uh, Bolt, or excuse me, Bonds, uh, for whatever reason, just throws a second there, just a little too hot for him. But he is able to catch, hold on to that and get the out. So now top of the eighth here. They're still up by two here. Runners at first and second here. We'll see what Bonds can do. And he'll uh, get into that uh, routine play there from second. And that will be an out there. So two points there for his attributes and for his effort there in that bat. And we'll tell you, see here that the Indians come back. Yeah, they end up coming back in this ball game. Three to two final score there. You see Cody Allen is his fifth win of the year. And Bonds uh, ends up being... Uh, one for four for the day, a strikeout, and a run. So now we go to game two here. We'll see here at top of the first here. 0-2 pitch, and that's going to be a ground out to the pitcher, and that's going to be a nice uh, routine play there for the Indians as they get the final out there in the inning. And there's no score at, as we go to the bottom of the first. So now top of the fourth here, the bases are empty, nobody out, and this is going to be another routine play there this time to the third baseman who gets bonds out there on that play at first as bonds uh, sits there and thinks man these indians are uh, actually pretty tough so now top of the fifth here we uh, see bonds strikes out there on that curveball right there and that one's uh, comes out of the zone and comes back in and gets on him that time as you see here at the fifth inning they lead it uh four to two so now, or uh, the five, five to four, excuse me, uh, Detroit does. Now, Detroit, here you see Bonds uh, gets robbed right there on that play. Seriously, what is going on? You see Murphy makes a nice diving catch there. We'll see the replay, and he hustles there and dives and takes that uh, base hit there from Bonds. And there, see, the Indians really want this ball game. So now 6 4. Top of the ninth here, runner at third. And we'll see here, one-two pitch here. That's going to be a drop third strike. And Bonds is going to have to hustle that one. Uh, but unfortunately, he cannot get there on time as he would get thrown out there at first. So we'll see the final score here. The Indians come back again late in the ninth there and come back and win it 7-6 to six there, final score. And Bonds, there you see, 0 for 5 for the day. And there you see his um, season milestone. He's at 550 at bats this season, and uh, so he get 30 points for that effort right there. And again, they just they just do a great job of coming back in the late innings there to win the ball game. They win that one in extra innings actually this time, uh, winning by a run there. So 
we'll go ahead and get ready for the last game, and we end up winning that one. Uh, we end up uh, bon Bonds gets a day off there. He wins that. They win that one, uh, three to two, I believe. Uh, so there you see, our next episode here coming up will be uh, it will be a home uh, home stand. It will be Baltimore and Minnesota, I believe, in the next episode here. Um, yeah, Baltimore and uh, Minnesota in the next episode. It's a, a six-game homestand. Uh, actually, it's, a, it's really a, a nine-game homestand, but we're not going to show the Cleveland series there uh, coming up. So we only got, what, about another one more road trip here coming up for the White Sox and Twins before we end the season. So there you see four games out of first place here. Uh, in the American League Central. We'll try to see what Bonds can do uh, here in the next episode. If they can gain some ground against the chi uh, Chiefs, <laughs> the Royals here, coming up here in uh, this season. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGN Net. Uh, not to mention, you guys can follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. Uh, and definitely please uh, so keep supporting the channel, you guys. We're over 200 subscribers now. And uh, just getting uh, a lot of love from you guys. I love the messages you guys sent me. And uh, just continue giving me messages uh, of uh, both, uh, you know, good job or just uh, some good ideas for uh, future videos and whatnot. I like, the, I like constructive criticism. Um, that really helps me uh, make some uh, videos and, and, and improve the videos. So. Um, as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.